Here we're going to be computing the gross profit percentage and we're going to be doing it in two ways here. We're going to be looking at the markup on cost versus a markup on our selling price. So uh, what we have here are these two different methods here using the percentage of markup on our cost or percentage of markup on our selling price. You know one of the percentages here either a markup on our cost or a markup on our selling price and you can determine the other. So let's start here with our uh, gross profit, profit here with a markup on cost and let's just say we have a 25% markup on our cost. So we use this general equation here. Our cost plus our gross profit equals our selling price. And uh, cost here I'm just going to equate to C. And then our gross profit here, well we said it's 25% of our co uh, cost here. So that was our markup here. We'll just point 0.25 represents 25%. So the cost here plus this gross profit, 25% of the cost equals our selling price. So just separating out our cost uh, element here, we got 100% here, one stands for 100% plus 25% here uh, times our cost equals our selling price. So now we can go and we can calculate our gross profit here on our selling price knowing our markup on our cost. So what we do here is we just take our, our cost, uh, gross profit here, this cost element, 25% of our cost here and divide it here by our selling price that what we based on our cost here. So we just move that down here, one plus 0.25 or 100% plus 25%, uh, that would be 125% here, uh, bringing the, adding those together here. Divide that into uh, 0.25 or 25% of our cost. Now remember these C's would just cancel out here, our cost would cancel out. And we come up with the percentage here, uh, 0.25 or 25% divided by 125% gives us 20%. So that's our gross profit here on our selling price. And that was based on this the markup on our cost. So our gross profit on our selling price, the general equation here is the percentage markup on cost. That's what we uh, had up here, that percentage of our markup on cost uh, equated here to our gross profit. And you divide that here by 100% plus the percentage markup on the cost here. So you just add this 100% into your denominator here when you make this division. Determine your gross profit here in our selling price. So we're given the, in this case here, we're given the markup on cost to be 25% and we calculated the gross profit percentage here on the selling price to be 20% here. Uh, that was that 25% markup here on our cost divided by the 100% here plus the 25% markup on our cost again equals 20% here for the gross profit on our selling price. So now let's go up here and we'll calculate the percentage markup here on the selling price. We're going to go through the same technique here. So in this case we're going to look at 20% markup here on our selling price. So the same equation here. We have our cost plus our gross profit here equals our selling price. So what we would do here again, C is for our cost, so our cost plus, in this case we're going to substitute in for our gross profit here, 20% uh, uh, a markup here on our selling price. So 0 0.20 stands for 20% here, so cost here uh, plus 20% uh, 20 of our selling price equals our selling price here by making this substitution. So our cost, we can bring that using algebra here, our cost equals 1 minus or 100% here minus 20% times our selling price. Just moving this 20% uh, or 0.20 of our selling price here over to this side of the equation and then we can separate it out here. The selling price here of 100% minus the 20% here gives us our cost. So now we would, this is how we'd calculate our percentage or markup on our cost. And that's just taking our 20% uh, or our gross profit percentage, our 20% uh, markup here on our selling price and divide that here by our cost. Now remember our cost was 1 or 100% here minus 20% times our selling percent. Or in this case I'm just using a unit amount here, 1 minus 0 0.20. So 1 minus 0 0.20 times our selling price divided into this markup here in our selling price of 0 0.20 or 20% and then that would equal here when we do our subtraction here. We got 20% of our selling price divided here by the difference here 0.8 or 80% of the selling price gives us 
25% here. That would be the percentage of our markup on our cost. So we knew 20% uh, of our markup here in our selling price and we could uh, uh, calculate that here to determine the percentage markup on our cost. So the general equation in here is our cost profit percent here on our selling pr our gross profit percentage here on our selling price and then we would divide that here by a hundred percent less the uh, uh, percentage here or gross profit on our selling price. So in this case we had the hundred percent here minus our twenty percent here for our uh, percentage markup here in our selling price and that was 80%. So here we determine our percentage markup on our cost knowing our percentage markup here in our selling price. So in this case we're given this gross profit percentage here on our selling price that was 20% and we're able to calculate the percent markup here in our cost of 25%. So Jen, just in review here we had this 20% here is as gross profit markup here on our selling price and then you would take the hundred percent here less this gross profit here on your on the percentage on our uh, per gross profit percentage here on our selling price and that was eighty percent here in this case and dividing the eighty percent into our twenty percent we come up with 25% here. So you can see we use these two different methods here. Either our percentage or markup on our cost here. We, we were given that here to be 25% here of our markup on our cost and we're able to determine our gross profit here on our selling price by doing our uh, I'm going through this equation here. You would, you don't really have to go through it, but uh, the idea is here is to understand what is going on on these relationships here between our gross profit on our uh, based on the markup on our cost versus the gross profit here based on the percentage of our selling price. So th this is just to prove out uh, how we would. Uh, come up with our equation here, how our equations are developed here for the percentage markup on our cost here. You can look at that again here the equation. That's the general equation we'd use here and then our gross profit here and our selling price and that's the general equation that we'd use here. And uh, again this was gross profit on our selling price that was based on the markup on our cost here and this percentage markup on our cost that equation here was based on the uh, percent of our selling price.